My name is Ryota Yanikida, a nerdy regular high school student. I expected to have a normal school life, but for some reason it was always chaotic around me. The reason, her. Uh, it's Kaori. She looks great today as well. I guess supermodels give off a different vibe than the rest of us. This year that caused so much ruckus. Just by entering the school gates, it's Kaori Takamatsu. She is one causing so much drama in this school. But, but I, I guess, guess it can't, can't be helped help, as she's so pretty. pretty. She's in the same grade as me, but that's about it. Nothing else. She lives in a different world than I do. But just by having her in the same school, it's always chaotic around here. I wonder, I wonder how, how she, she feels, feels about, about all this. this. I was thinking to myself when we met eyes. Oh, she quickly looked away, but my heart was still beating fast. The girls that noticed neared at me. The nerd is looking at Kaori. She's way out of his league. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Man, of course, of course I know, I know that, that better, better than, than anyone. anyone. A few days later, lunchtime, I was killing time reading a book in the courtyard. Yota? Huh? Kaori? I look up and I see Kaori standing there. Her legs look even longer when I look up at her like this. I, I mean, mean this, this angle. angle. I, I can, can almost, almost see up her skirt. Yota, do you have a minute? So, sure, what is it? Why, Why is she, is she sitting, sitting down, down next, next to me? To me? Kaori sits down next to me, and it makes it hard to breathe. My heart was racing, and Kaori looked straight at me. Ryota, I like you. Huh? Wh why me? Because you're smart, quiet, and looks like you could keep a secret. That's, That's it? it? I was confused as Kaori brings her face even closer. Ryota, will you go out with me? Uh, of course! I didn't think about it. I just instinctively nodded. The next morning... Oh, it's Kaori! On my way to school, I spot Cowdy with her unmistakable celebrity vibe. I rush over to talk to her. Cowdy, would you like to walk to school with me? Sure, I don't mind. Th thank you. Um, um is, is she, she acting, acting really, really cold? cold? During our walk to school, we did not meet gazes once. Not only that, she looked pretty bored the whole time. Does, Does she, she even really, really like me? me? Um, Cowdy, if you like... I was thinking that we could go out into town after school, like, on a date. Um, sure. Well, I'm going to class now. Oh, okay. She was acting cold throughout, but she did say that she'd go on a date with me. I, I guess, guess that's, that's just, just her personality. personality. I, I guess, guess I'm, I'm really, really dating Cody. I think to myself, and I can't hold back a smile. After school, we were out on the town together. Cody. I know about this hidden cafe that hardly anyone knows about. Would you like to go there? Yeah, that might help. The people around us are beginning to notice Cowdy. We rush over to the cafe. Here, go on in. I open the door and let her in first. To that, Cowdy acted a little surprised. You're quite the gentleman. Earlier, you walked on the side closer to the road too. Huh? Isn't that common sense? Common sense. Okay, I guess it is for you. Sure, I did see Cowdy make a bit of a sad face, but after that we enjoyed the sweets at the cafe and decided to go up to a nearby park. She doesn't, she doesn't seem, seem too happy. happy. Walking next to me, Cowdy is even less talkative than usual. Cowdy, is something wrong? Are you not feeling well? It's nothing. I tried to engage in conversation and she just looks sad. There's no way there's nothing wrong when you look like that. Is there anything I could do to help? If there is something, I want you to talk to me about it. I said then, Cowdy looked at me, looking like she made up her mind about something. I'm sorry, Diota. Um, what is this about? I, I asked you out as part of a dare. I lost a game and I was made to do this and... Oh. Although I was, I was shocked, it all made sense too. Yeah, you're right. I'm really sorry. She apologized and then ran away. Haha, <laughs> I guess it was all oh, just a dream. But, but I, guess I guess it was, it was good, good that, that she let me know when she did, because I wasn't, wasn't hurt as much as it had been later. later. I'm going to use this hurt to motivate me to study. I'll focus on studying, and I'll forget this ever happened, I thought. The next day, the whole school knew about me being dumped by Cowdy. <laughs> Look, Ryota's here. He was on top of the world after being asked out by Kaori. 
but it turned out it was just a dare. How sad. <laughs> but I guess he was lucky to be able to experience that dream. I was walking by ignoring all the mean comments when... You two, why don't you stop picking on Ryota? I was wrong to use him for a dare too. Cody. From that one comment, no one said anything about me. I guess yeah, that, that Cody isn't, isn't an inherently, inherently bad, bad person. person. I, guess I guess she's just gonna, gonna say no to a dare from her friends. friends. That thought made me feel a little bit better. A little while later, I finished my shift at my part-time job. It was heading home at night. Yo, I'm tired. I sighed to myself when... Ah! Huh? This voice. Is it Cody? Without thinking, I run towards where I heard the scream. I heard it just beyond the corner. Whoa! Ah. As I turned the corner, I ran into her. That person was... Cody. Ryota? Yeah, I heard you scream. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I have to go. Cody hurries past me. Wait, I grab Cody's arm. Right after, a man with a knife and not looking sober appeared behind me. Cody, who the heck are you? Why are you touching Cody? Because I'm her ex-boyfriend. I kicked a knife out of his hand, throw the man over my shoulder. Once down, I pin him down. Cody, call the police. Uh, okay. Thanks to our teamwork, the man was taken away by the police, and we finished being questioned. We met outside the police station. Tanaka-san, Cody's manager, standing next to her as well. Thank you very much. That man was quite the nasty stalker, and we were quite troubled by him. I see. Well then, I guess it was good that he was caught. Yes. Thank you so much. We must get going now. Cody, I'll drive you home. Okay, but I have something I want to say, Ryota. So I'll meet you back at the car. Okay. Tanaka-san laughed, and Cody stood in front of me. Thank you for earlier, but why do you save me? After I hurt you with that dare. Even if it was just a dare, it still made me happy. Plus, I can't leave someone alone when they're about to cry. Ryota. Hearing what I had to say, Cowdy's eyes started to well up. The next day, what, what is, is happening, happening here? Ryota, do you want to go out on a date with me after school? Cowdy waited for me before school and smiled up at me. A date? No thanks. Huh? Why not? Why is what I want to ask you. Since then, Cowdy started to stick around wherever I went. She always tried to stay by my side and she followed me wherever I went. That day, as I was working home for school, I decided to ask her about the sudden change. Of course, it's because I've fallen for you real this time. Okay, I get it. It's some kind of game again, isn't it? You have it pretty rough, don't you, Cody? No, I'm for real. Why won't you believe me? Why? Because a pretty girl like you would never fall for a boring guy like me. That's not true. You still won't believe me? Okay then, will you come and attend a party with me? I'll show you how serious I am. Huh? Well, I was still stunned. She had already gotten everything prepared, and I was set to attend an extravagant party with a beautiful dressed up Cowdy. Um, it's an anniversary party for your management company. Yep, so Tanaka-san is right over there, and next to him is our company CEO, Ishikawa-san. CEO? H Hello, my name is Ryota Yanigira. Nice to meet you. Anyway, Cody, why did you bring him here? I thought I need to make it clear to you two. Um, I like Ryota. Oh, boss, this is the young man that apprehended that stalker the other day. Ah, I see. So I understand how she would fall for you. So are you two already dating? No, I just have a crush on him. He's quite stubborn, and he won't fall for me easily. I'm going to work hard to make this work, so I hope you'll support us. Huh? Cody asked you out. And you didn't comply. He must be a man that looks at his partner's mind very carefully. He is strong enough to take down a stalker. He must be quite the gentleman. Kaori, you try your best to make him yours. Of course. Huh? What's, What's going, going on? on? This was already a three versus one situation. A few minutes later, the two of us were resting on the balcony. I had no idea you were going to introduce me to your CEO. But now you know how serious I am, right? Yeah, I was scared because I might get hurt again from a dare. But I've always liked you, Cowdy. I want to protect you from now on, too. I want to make you happy. W will you go out with me? Ryota! Cowdy happily jumps towards me. Of course I will. 
I guess we'll have to go tell my manager and the CEO. Huh? Now? Cody took my hand, and we started running through the party venue. 